everyone. We are ready for module three of uh, our assessment course. I hope you're doing well. Just reminders as usual, be sure and do testing checkout sign up if you need to borrow tests. Don't forget that journal um, where you are logging your times and your reflections each time you do your field. Don't forget to be thinking ahead at this clinical unit in Chalk and Wire. Be sure that you're looking ahead because you have um, an assignment coming up where you're going to be presenting um, about an informal assessment. So be sure that you are looking ahead, please. In this module, you are now going to journal in Blackboard about the preface through chapter three that you read. So in our folder in Blackboard, it says Kilpatrick chapters one through three. And if you click on it, there are the questions that I want you to answer and be, and it would, um, it's not gonna let me because I'm not in student mode, but you would, um, oh, here it is, create a journal entry and answer those questions, okay? So that's one of the things that you're going to be doing in this module. Okay, we're going back to our dyslexia resource guide. You did um, initial screening in our last module. So now we're gonna move on. If a child shows um, markers or characteristics or signs and, it, and we need to move them to a level one screening, we can do that. That is um, in this section of the Dyslexia Resource Guide, okay? And we are have to be sure that all of these areas are assessed. These are the same areas that were assessed as before. Um, in a level, dis, level one dyslexia screening, we're also gathering additional information. So we might be um, really closely monitoring their work in the classroom, gathering work samples, doing, uh, gathering any formative assessments, informative assessments, doing parent interviews, teacher questionnaires. We might look at an early indicator checklist. There's one at the end of this guide that's very good. Um, and any additional assessments that we deem we need to do. And then the team would meet to review the records and the con talk to the parents and decide where what you want to do. Do you want to put them in RTI and see, or is there enough there that they need to go to a level two assessment? Okay. Um, at Texas Scottish Rite Hospital, there's also five questions to consider when identifying students with dyslexia, <coughs> and these are excellent to review. So I would encourage you to look at those. Okay, so in a level one screener, again, we're looking at possible tools. So, um, these are, we're going to look at which ones we could do as, as our choice for this course based on what I would have access to or what we have maybe done before. So phonological and phonemic awareness in multisensory one, you learned both the past and the past. So we are not going to go over those and make you do those again. I know you can do them. Um, so that covers a deeper phonological and phonemic awareness. Alphabet knowledge has a ceiling. It has a mastery level. So you could do another alphabet ID test if needed. But, um, you know, again, you would use dibbles or um, maybe from concepts about print the letter ID. From, for sound symbol recognition, um, these are three that we have not talked about. So I am going to show you and let you practice this one, the um, 
Quick Phonics Screener or QPS. It's for grades K through 6. For decoding skills, we have not looked at either of these. So uh, we're going to look at this one that is for grades 1st through 12th. And it's the really great reading diagnostic decoding surveys. It is endorsed by Louisa Motes and looks very, very good. And then um, rapid naming, we would we could look at our um, Arkansas RAN again. And in coding, we can look at um, our DSA again and any of their writing samples. Okay, so we have already learned all but two of these areas. So that's going to be the two that we focus on this module. So the first thing, uh, the first assessment we have is the QPS. I have a video here that shows you how to administer the QPS. And here is your assignment with the assessment linked to it. Please give the attached assessment and then write a brief analysis of the results. So that's the QPS. The Diagnostic Decoding Survey is the one that I did not do a video for because it explains everything step by step in the packet. Um, and I really feel like this is something that you all can take on. So I would like for you to read that packet, determine how you're going to give this assessment, then complete it, and a brief analysis of the results. Okay, and there it is linked there. should be gone okay so our homework remember homework we always have it due on Thursday and Sunday at midnight so I did not change this and I need to do this Sunday you have your Kilpatrick journal you have the QPS with a brief reflection or a brief analysis rather and then you have the diagnostic decoding survey with the brief analysis. Okay, so that is what is going to be due on Sunday of this week. And I think, let's look, that takes care of everything for module three. So good luck, and let me know if you have questions.